This is a patient who had trauma to his right eye many decades earlier. He has a dislocated pupil and now he has a dense cataract and his vision is count fingers. He also has a low cell count, around 600, so we want to try to preserve his endothelial cells. Uh, here we're placing some iris retractors to expand the uh, pupil enough so we can do safe cataract surgery. Uh, I suspect that he has uh, zonular weakness in the area of the trauma superiorly, which is on the left side of the video. So we're going to be very careful about that as well. Uh, we've made our capsule rexus after staining with Vision Blue. And now we're going to go ahead and do our routine chopping technique, uh, try to be very gentle and uh, preserve the endothelial cells as much as possible. Uh, I do the cortical cleanup and uh, inject a capsule tension ring uh, after inflating the uh, capsular bag. Uh, the capsule tension ring should help uh, distribute the uh, forces of the remaining zonules. Here I'm placing an Invistatoric lens on the uh, steep axis, which is 50 degrees. You can see that's been marked. I'm sweeping lens epithelial cells. Uh, so there will be less capsule contraction. And now we can uh, go ahead and remove viscoelastic, uh, remove the iris hooks and place uh, myocol and try to bring the pupil down uh, as much as possible by stroking it. Uh, but it really doesn't come down that much. So here we're placing viscoelastic and I'm kind of stretching uh, the iris here to see what I've got to work with. And what I'm gonna do is release the tension here by using a micro scissor to cut the iris uh, and release the tension right where you see me cutting here. And I'm gonna bring those two cut uh, flaps together to try to recreate the pupil. Uh, what I'm gonna do is pass the suture through each side here, bring this out through a paracentesis, loop this end of the suture out, uh, do a fourth row tie, and as I bring this down, I'll then bring the knot into the eye and tighten this uh, by pulling on one side outside the eye and the other side inside the eye. But I don't want this to cheese wire, so I'm not going to bring this completely together. What I'm going to do is add a second suture above and below this uh, to reinforce this so this doesn't uh, pull through and cheese wire. So here I'm adding a second suture, bringing that together and cutting that with a 23 gauge micro scissor and then another suture on the other side to reinforce that uh, so that this is held securely and it doesn't cheese wire. This is under a lot of tension right here. And so now I tie this and cut this. And so I've recreated my pupil. And now I wanna see if I have enough tissue to close this defect as much as possible superiorly. So I'm gonna pass the suture through uh, one side of the defect and then the uh, edge of the uh, cut flap here and try to bring that together. Uh, now I'm passing a second suture to try to close this a little further. And this tissue is very uh, thin and atrophic, so I have to be really careful not to cheese wire, not to put this under too much tension. And you can see the bleeding from the root of the iris uh, up top. That's because it's under a lot of tension as I try to bring this together. So I keep adding sutures to uh, try to close this, reinforce it, and bring this together. Uh, I'm happy with the uh, pupil shape and position. The dilator fibers on the right side of the surgical field are working. They're intact, uh, not on the left side. So when this pupil comes down, it's actually going to be perfectly centered. I remove the viscoelastic and the uh, case is completed, and uh, I think this patient's gonna be very happy. Thank you very much for your attention.